It starts off with some dude running from a dog. It's like an evil demon or whatever in the hood. It's trying to eat him. Of course there's an actual dog in the movie, right? It's a Snoop Dogg hood movie. They couldn't fucking resist, could they? We cut over to these white dudes now trying to buy drugs in the hood. The cops roll up though and the dudes run and hide in this spooky ass abandoned building. Dude, that's close. You picked the wrong house, fool! The white dudes get killed and this dude from earlier is just sitting there watching it all happen. This fake ass Bernie Mac. Get him. It then goes to a flashback and we get the opening credits. Snoop Dogg is here and he's a pimp Mac Daddy. It's like the 70s. He running numbers and stuff all over the town and everybody love him. Then he died though or something and the neighborhood dies too. All the drugs hit the community. That's no good. Everybody drug addicts now. Foxy Brown in the movie. She a drug addict now. She was bad though at first. Sad hit movie, you get it. It's hella years later now and the light skinned nigga from Juice pops up. Apparently he just bought that haunted Snoop Dogg mansion and he's exploring inside with his group of racially diverse friends. Look at this place man, it's a dump. No, no, actually it'd have to work to be a dump. Last owner on the lease yeah. before the bank was back in 79. Some cat named Jimmy Bones. There's a local legend back in the 70s in this area. Sure. There was a song. Ooh. They start singing this scary song about Snoop Dogg ghosts or whatever. The light skinned yo from Juice is planning on turning this building into a nightclub. His equally light skinned brother suggests that they do a whole Jimmy Bones theme. Whatever the fuck that means. This is the story of Jimmy Bones. Black as night and hard as stone. A bunch of scary stuff starts happening all around him though. Ghostly Snoop Dogg figures start popping up and shit. He doesn't do anything. It's just a bunch of fake out scares. He like creep up behind them but he won't do shit. Or he'll like grab your shoulder or something but it turns out it was just your friend. That type shit. The effects are actually pretty decent though. I was not expecting that. I thought this shit was gonna be like Leprechaun or something. This shit pretty clean bro. You want us to move in it? That's the only way we're gonna get the place fixed in time. Hey, look who I found. Wait. Tia? I'm naming him Bones. Bones? Don't be that oh, Some holes can't be filled and some hunger can't be satisfied. Come on, Cynthia. Come on. I mean, we just moved into the neighborhood. We're gonna kind of be like neighbors, you know? In that building. Thanks for the help. Anytime. The house is super scary and they all had a terrible ass time. So naturally, they all decide to move in here and live in here for some reason. We meet Foxy Brown, badass daughter also. She's like that one chick that used to be in all the girl movies. She bad as shit, bro. I forgot about her. What's her name? She all-star. She bad as shit. They got this racially ambiguous homeboy they hang out with. I call him light-skinned Chris Tucker. He the comic relief type character. He smoke a lot of weed. That's funny, right? Also, he say stuff. Whatever, man. Chris Tucker. Gangsta of love don't need no fried chicken. I'm telling you, there's something in the batter that makes a black man sterile. Now, I don't know exactly what you are, but you damn sure ain't no black man. I am Martin Luther King's dream. All I gotta do is hold my own hand. What you say? Look out, man. When I'm playing this game here, don't interrupt me. This nigga Berlizzi in the movie now. They go Berlin in the movie. He's like the main bad guy and he runs the whole neighborhood and does all the crime and drugs. It's not cool. He's lecturing his henchmen about the two white boys getting killed last night, but they don't know what the hell he's talking about. No. Man, everybody heard that damn screaming last night on Black Zone. Remember that shit? That, oh, that shit. It's gonna be any psycho shit. I'm the one that do it. Clifton Powell in the movie. I say that hella times. This nigga in hella movies, bro. He's Juicio's dad and he lives in this nice neighborhood with his wholesome white family. This is his daughter or something. This is his wife. Apparently he's from the same hood as Snoop Dogg and he made it out, but he's still super bitter about it. So how exactly did Crack get in the ghetto pops, huh? By magic? Stop poisoning your mind with that ghetto paranoia. That's all just the ways of people justifying their own failure. Some crooked cop shows up at the house and he tells Clifton Powell that the Bones mansion got sold. This nigga's wearing like a fat suit or a fake face or something, clearly. This shit looks hella weird. I can tell right away. I'm not sure why they did that. Anyway, it's a mystery going on. Clifton Powell and the cop are definitely hiding something. We the audience, we don't know what it is. Even if they find anything, it's been 20 years. They can never trace it back to us. Well, you better hope not. 
We go back to the Bones house and Snoop Dogg's still haunting all the light-skinned people again. More scary stuff starts happening to them, but it's the same thing where it's all fake and nothing really happens. That's every horror movie from this era. They all do this. This was a terrible time for horror movies. Again, the effects are cool, so I like that. But it's not scary at all. Like, it's not even close. What's even the point then? Yeah, the floor's throbbing. Just a problem in the plumbing. Whoa. Whoa, damn. Now what, what is this? Look at this, man. This fake ass blood? Is this supposed to be blood? This should look like Sriracha. I was just talking about how good the effects were too. Damn it. They go to the basement to investigate or something and the dog uncovers some bones. Turns out to be Bones' is bones. This is the story of Jimmy Bones. Black as night and hard as stone. Call the police, we don't get a permit. We can't just leave him. Yes, we can. What? They decide to forget about the damn human remains they just found and all the scratch marks and some teeth. They found some teeth, bro. They're just ignoring all these terrible, horrifying things. It doesn't make any sense. They all chilling now when they feed the dog some more. Turns out that he's magically connected to the bones. The more the dog eats, the more the bones come to life or whatever. What the fuck are they even feeding this dog? Is this brains? Can y'all cook this shit or something? Give this nigga some pedigree or something. It's a little business venture that I made on my own I wanted to show you. Son, is this some kind of sick joke? That is bullshit! You sell it back and now there's a fucking order! Do you fucking hear me? Did I say no! You remember Eddie Mac, don't you? Well, man, it ain't the money. It's the high. It's a quick ticket to heaven, man. And fools keep coming back, huh? Right, baby. <laughs> Those fools, they're my people. Whoa, 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 hey, man, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, Drop wait, the piece, wait, nigga. Just try it, Jimmy, that's all. It turns out that all of Snoop Dogg's friends were the ones that killed him. Clifton Powell and Foxy Brown here. Frozone from The Incredibles is here, face ass. The dirty cop forces everybody to join in on the murders, so they all have blood on their hands. They force Bones to smoke some crack and everything too. He was a victim the whole time, it looks like. Why they fucking make this scary ass song about him? He didn't do anything. Everybody loved him, then his friends betrayed him and he died. He wasn't really evil, I don't think. Help me, brother. I'm sorry, brother. Since we was grass up. They open the club and this shit actually live as shit. How do he do that? How did he get people in here? Some of the white people and shit? Look at this scary ass building in this scary ass neighborhood. I personally would not be fucking with this at all. This nigga must got hella juice or something to pack this place. Also the music whack, light skin Chris Tucker is the DJ, it's his fault. We will speak the international language of love. <laughs> Bro, was that the dog? Did the dog just turn into a sexy lady and kill him? What is even happening right now? Why does this dog have shape-shifting abilities? They better explain this shit. This shit almost over, bro. I'm still so confused. Why does Snoop Dogg even have ghostly powers? Why didn't he just die like a regular person? I'm guessing Psychic Lady's dress has something to do with it. Maybe it was all that crack he smoked before he died. Who knows? Why is he a dog? Forget it. It's either dog or the bones. Forget it. Comic Relief Yo gets killed and it's scary. Scary hood movie. The dog starts eating him and all that light skin meat turns into more muscles and bones for Snoop Dogg. Juicy O starts getting concerned and now he's going to look for his friend. Maurice! Oh my god. The guns love, don't eat no fried chicken. <laughs> hey, nigga, what? Fuck, hey! Yeah, I feel like he should have said something else though. That could have been scary a little bit. The dog started talking or whatever, but no, it's stupid and it looks fake. It looked like Beverly Hills Chihuahua. The dog starts spitting maggots all over Juice, yo. Then he turns into weed smoke so Snoop Dogg can breathe him in. Now he's back to life or whatever. Wow. That's not scary at all, actually. This nigga hella skinny, bro. 
I don't think your body finished growing, my nigga. Your ass needs some more of that light skin meat or something. You're still a skeleton, basically. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's fake ass explosion. Y'all went overboard with these effects. Y'all should have dialed it back, definitely. Also, where the fuck you get these clothes from? The Undertaker? He was definitely naked just now. These weren't the clothes he died in either. I guarantee they don't explain half this shit. There's no way. Yeah. Hey, hey. Snowflake. We killed you, motherfucker, and buried your ass in nothing but your bitch's bloody rags. He stabs the hairnet dude with some telekinesis powers, and he bulletproof also, and he can teleport and fly, and turn into a dog. That's childish, bro. That's too many powers, right? Try it. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg goes to see Clifton Powell now, and he kidnaps him and takes him to his evil, spooky souls world. Now Juicio and his brother and the girls go back to the house to rescue him. Apparently they have to go back and destroy that dress that Bones was buried with, cause his soul is in the blood or something on the dress. The spirit lives in the blood, and the spirit keeps the body and soul together, and sometimes his spirit lives on. Amen. Since we was grasshoppers. Bones ends up trapping the mom and separating her from the kids. They end up getting sucked into the weird underworld or whatever, and Juicy Old Brother gets killed by Comic Relief, yo. He's like an evil zombie now. Whatever, it's not important. I don't care about any of these characters, bro. I just want it to be over. This way. Welcome home, baby girl. Snoop Dogg reunites with Foxy Brown. They was in love or something. Also, it turns out Snoop Dogg is this chick's father, so that's interesting. Crazy twist or something. He transforms into this ugly ass Buffy the Vampire Slayer type shit. Now they having their final showdown. Die! Snoop Dogg has a ghost tornado power now, which is just so useless. It's his worst power by far. All he's doing is spinning this nigga around like Crash Bandicoot. I guarantee it's not hurting him at all. Somebody's about to save him. It's a scary movie at the end. That's how it goes. Every scary movie. Jimmy, I love you. The Bones house is destroyed and Juice Yo and the girl make it out. It's a happy ending now. Dog eat dog. Motherfucking dog. Name is Snoop. Uh huh. Name is Snoop. What's up? What? This movie's got some good, creepy imagery, but it's not scary at all. It's hard to make a Snoop Dogg ghost scary, but at the same time, this movie would not have worked without Snoop Dogg. This was 100% made with Snoop Dogg in mind. The movie wouldn't even make sense without it being Snoop Dogg. Like, how is he controlling the dog? He has magical dog powers for no reason. The main characters were super bland, super generic. There was a lot of social commentary stuff, but they didn't fully commit to any of it really. This shit barely made sense. But I had an okay time. It's not an overly long movie. It's got a Snoop Dogg ghost. Besides the fake ass blood, it's got some good visuals. It's fine. It's pretty bad, but that's fine. That's it though. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloweens. Make sure you eat all the candy. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And that's it, I guess. What else? Thank you, Patreon homies. That's it. The video. Thank you.